just like every day Welcome back to another math video. Class is now in session. Today I want to talk about common fraction conversions. So let's go in and have a look at what I'm talking about. So if I zoom in here, you can clearly see that these three fractions are the common fractions that we deal with most of the time every day. We have a half, we have a quarter, and then we have three quarters. Now, when I'm talking about a math conversion, um, the fraction um, video that we did before was about converting the fraction to decimal. We're going to do that here also with these three, but we're also going to um, do the changing them to percentage as well. So let me just do the first one. So we have a half. What is a half in decimal? Let me bring this paper up a little closer. Okay. All right. So here we go. What you have to do first, you have to divide the denominator into the numerator. So here we're going to put the two into the one. Obviously it can't go in, right? So that's why we're going to start. And this is going to be a calculator answer that we're doing here. So the two can't go into the one. So we put a zero here. Then we put a decimal. Then, because the two can't go into the one, we put a zero up here, which is going to make it a 10. So now, two goes into the 10 five times. Right? So there we have it. It goes in equally, so there's no remainder. So a half is 0 0.5. And then, if we wanted to go further and make that into a percentage, right, you would move your decimal two places to the right because we're multiplying. Multiplying by 100 because what is percent after all? Percent is out of 100, right? And 100 has two zeros here. So you would move your decimal two places to the right which will give us 50%. So that's why a half is 50%. If you think of money, it's, um, it's easier. Half a dollar is 50 cents. So half of 100 is 50, which is 0 0.5, then you got 50%. Let's take a look at the next one. So we got a quarter. If you think of money as well, you can um, basically tell me what it is before I even work it out to show you how it gets worked out. But if you put the four into the one, so once again, the denominator into the numerator, it can't go, right? So you put a zero, then you put a decimal. Now, the four can't go into the one, so like we did up there, we're going to put a zero here. So four into 10, it goes two times because four, eight, right? So it goes two times. And then what's left over? So we have to put a remainder up here. So two times four is eight. How far is eight away from 10, right? So it's two away. So we're gonna put a 10 here, a two here, sorry. And then four goes into two, it can't go. So we're gonna put a zero at the end of that. So then four into 20 goes five times because five times four is 20. So it's always good to know your multiplication tables for this as well. So a quarter, works out to be 0 0.25. And then what is that if we was to convert that to a percentage? So we move your decimal two places to the right, and that's going to give us 25%. Right? So like money as well, a quarter is 25 cents. It's the same, same, um, same theory. Okay, so here we have three quarters, same strategy. We're dividing the four into the three. Can it go? No. So you're going to put a zero decimal and then a zero here. All right, so four into 30. So the closest we can get there, because there's no 30 in the four times table, so the closest we can get there is a seven, right? Because seven times four is 28. How far is 28 away from 30? So you're two away. So you put the remainder up here with a zero on it because the four can't go into the two. So you put a zero on it. So four into 20, and that goes five, right? So there you have Three quarters is 0 0.75, or when you put it into percent, it becomes 75% because we're moving the decimal two places to the right. And that, my friends, is how you do these common conversions. So we have a half is 0.5, which is 50%, a quarter is 0.25, which is 25%, and three quarters is 0.75, which is 75%. Any questions, please ask below. And if you have another strategy, of course, please share. And I'll see you next time. Join me again for another math video. Class dismissed.